cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty kick it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing's words, hearing words in a r there you go, that's it. <laughs> is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I love the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, <laughs> one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. <laughs> there, no, don't turn your body. Just, your Just let me have your head. What's the line? Hold on. <laughs> Helps them. Makes. 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 Makes them. Makes. Makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there he is. And Elmo. roll. <laughs> you got an itch. Let's tone. One more time from the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Is that red card? Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my daughter, Nola. Today we're at the flea market. It is the perfect place to play one of our very favorite games, I Spy. Are you excited? <laughs> it's a great brain-boosting activity that you can play just about anywhere with kids of all ages. Come on, we'll show you how. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Here's how you play I Spy. First, you choose one of the players to be the spy. And then the spy chooses an object silently, like say this blue globe, and then reveals the object to the other players by saying, I spy with my little eye something blue. Then the other players try to guess what the secret object is. If they're having trouble figuring it out, then the spy can give an additional hint. We'll show you how it's done. Mom, you be the spy first. Oh, all right, let's see. Hmm, let me find an object. Okay, let's start over here first. Hmm, 
All right, let me pick an object. Let's see. Oh, here's an important tip. Do not look directly at the object when you're giving your hints. That is a dead giveaway. All right, I have my object. Cover your ears. I chose the red dye. All right, Nola, you ready? Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Um, is it that W? It is not that W. Um, is it that red stripe around the pin? Ooh, good one. I hadn't even noticed that. No, that's not what I was looking at. Is it the red dye? Uh, yes, you did it. It is that red dye. And you said the right word because dice is two. Two, and a die is actually just one. So you got it. Good job. This game is so good for kids' brains. It's not only a great way to expand their vocabularies, but it also develops their powers of observation. So, Noel, you want to play again? Yeah. Okay. I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it that blue block? It is not that cube, no. Keep going. Um, is it this toy car? Uh, no, that's not what I was looking at, although you're right, that's very blue. Try something else. Um, is it that lock? No, that's not what I was looking at. I'll give you a hint. It is something that you wear. Hmm. Oh, is it that pin? Yes, that's also called a brooch, and people wear it on their shirt. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. Now we'll do one for you. Oh, good, okay. I spy with my little eye something golden. Something golden. Uh, is it that trophy over there? Nope. How about that necklace? Nope. Uh, is it that brush up there? Nope. Uh, the bronze shoes? Nope. All right, I give up. What is it? It's that brooch. Ah, you learned that word before. Good job. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all different skill levels. When Nola was little, I just asked her to point to an object of a certain color. All that matters is that you're making kids think about their surroundings and exposing them to new words. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Bye. <laughs> Stop touching me. All right, three. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I'm awesome, I did it. Oh, hello, I look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. <laughs> to play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play? Yeah. Are you sure? All right, yeah. so Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. Now freeze. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. 
Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, I got you again. <laughs> All right. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says, so when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, smile. Simon Says, Wiggle your fingers. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. <laughs> Simon says, dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we want to know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, get it together. <laughs> so, the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you smacked me in the face. I can't, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> the ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says. Simon says, rub your belly. Let's try it again. <laughs> Yeah. Really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Ooh. Dude, you're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh, when kids learn. Ow now, brown cow. To understand the rules of practice, there's ah, and share ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah. If the command, ah. Simon says, <laughs> say goodbye. Yeah, it's a fun, fun. it's a fun way. Fun, fun, funions. <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaurs have great big teeth that chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs! Hi, I'm Liam, and I play Eat the Mouse on Mother Goose Club. The Mother Goose Club is all about music. So am I, especially drums. Drumming is good for kids in a lot of ways, and you don't even need real drums to do it. I'll show you how. This is my buddy and neighbor Keller. He comes over for jam sessions. We have a lot of ways to jam, don't we? Yeah, can we do the one where we take turns? Sure, tell him how we play. Liam drums the pattern and then I drum it. We'll do it faster and faster, watch. Ready? I'm gonna speed it up now. Crazy fast one. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Patterns are super important for math. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns because it's so fun. Another drumming activity is keeping a beat. Keeping a beat helps with talking and listening. Kids can hear and understand the rhythm of speech better if they practice keeping a beat. I'll start with an easy one. It goes like this. Now you join in. Okay. There you go. Now 
keep it steady the whole time. I'm gonna play different things over it. Very good. <laughs> My favorite thing about drumming is that you don't even need real drums to do it. Pots, pans, food containers, anything can be a drum. You can use a spoon or a pencil as a drumstick, or even just use your hand. Plus, the more kinds of sounds kids hear, the more brain connections they make. Look how the bigger ones make deeper sounds and the smaller ones make higher sounds as we play. Watch. You can join in too. Show my Goose Club fans your drum skills by posting photos and videos and hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Rock and roll by subscribing and type the name of your favorite drummer in the comments below. One, two, three, four. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What's that coming down the track? A freight train. Freight train coming down the track. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Hi, my name <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam, drop, Liam drums a pattern. <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam jumps. Another drumming activity. Another. Mm. I think I just... Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns if they. If they I'm gonna. Wait, were you. Alright, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the simple one. All right, and you keep all through. Or... <laughs> yeah, so let's look at the audience and let's... A freight train! Plus, the more kids hear different kinds of sounds... Show Mother Goose Club fans your drumming skills by... Um, subs and type your comment, type your name of your favorite drummer in the comments. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll by subscribe. <laughs>